Good morning, boys and girls. How are you today? Okay, for those of you that don't know, my name is Sister Sarah, and I take the kids out here every Sunday, and we haven't even been together for about almost eight weeks. That's a long time, but I remember you. All right, today, does anybody know what Sunday this is? Right, it's the 6th Sunday of Easter, okay? And we're going to talk about the gospel. We're not going to act it out today, but one of these Sundays we will act it out with butterflies and everything, but not today. It's not that kind of an act out gospel. But let's think for a minute, and we'll start with our prayers. All right. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning. Buenos dias. Magadamu maga. Konnichiwa. Ni hao. Dear God, please remind me we all belong to your big human family. No matter what language we speak, no matter what country we live in, no matter what country we're born in, no matter what color our skin, no matter what religion we are, we are all your children in your big human family. Please help me be a peacemaker in my big human family. Amen. Guess what? I left out a few of those other words. Namaste. One more time. Namaste. Sign language. Put your hand here. Good morning. One more time. Good morning. Bonjour. Buongiorno. Bon dia. So though there is a lot of languages in our world, right? And we're happy that we know how to say hi in so many languages, how to say good morning. All right. Let me, let's see. Today I want to do a song first. We'll do If I Were a Butterfly Later, but let's start with God the Father. Ready? Do you remember that? Okay, if there's any little kids with you, help them learn how to do it. Ready? Here we go. God the Father, God the Son, Holy Spirit, three in one. Up above the world so high, like three diamonds in the sky. God the Father, God the Son, Holy Spirit, three in one. <clears throat> Did you get it? All right. Let's do it one more time and think about the words. Ready? And a little faster. God the Father, God the Son, Holy Spirit, three in one. Up above the world so high, like three diamonds in the sky. God the Father, God the Son, Holy Spirit, three in one. Good job. Today we're going to talk about that in our reading about the three Persons in one God, all right? It's the sixth Sunday of Easter, so here we go. Ready? Okay. Sebastian, are you there? Okay. A reading from the Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will do as I command. Then I will ask the Father to send you the Holy Spirit, who will help you, and he will always be with you. The Spirit will show you what is true. The people of this world cannot accept the Spirit because they don't see him or know him. But you know the Spirit, who is with you and will keep on living in you. I won't leave you like orphans. Jesus told them, I will come back to you. In a little while, the people of this world won't be able to see me, but you will see me. And because I live, you will live. Then you will know that I am one with the Father. 
you will know that you are one with me and I am one with you. If you love me, you will do what I have said and my father will love you. I will also love you and show you what I am like. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let's do it one more time. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. All right. Who remembers? What did we talk about last week? Does anybody remember? Ta da! I brought it. I brought the quarter. Okay. Today we have the same talking about the spirit as we did last, last week. One side has the eagle and beautiful big wings. The other side has the face of a president. You can take your own quarter at home and look and see what the name of the president is on there. That's for you to find out, okay? Can I split this up? Can I divide it? Can we burn it off? Can we do anything with this? No, they're always together. The same for the blessed Trinity. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are together. They're there. And when we have the Holy Spirit in us, we should feel really, really happy because it's not um, there's God there, there's the Father, there's the Son. When we have the Holy Spirit with us, when we have the Blessed Trinity with us, we are one, they're one in us. So we think of God the Father, the Creator. He created so many things, the beautiful world, all kinds of things. We think of the Father. We think of the Son, Jesus Christ who came on earth to show us how the Father is and how the Holy Spirit is and how he is. All the stories in the gospel that Jesus tells us about, they're all about God. And then we have the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is all kinds of, of things. It's about feeling good on a day, maybe even feeling bad on a day. It's about remembering what Jesus told us. So when we have the Blessed Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we have everything we need to live a good life, to follow the rules, to be happy, to make other people happy. And that's what God asks of us, just that we do that. And he must be very intent on it because after Easter, we're talking about the Holy Spirit, the Father and the Son all the time in all the Gospels. Pretty soon it's going to be, when is the birthday of the church? Do you remember? Pentecost, right? Let's say it and spell it. P-E-N-T-E-C-O-S-T, -E -E Pentecost. One more time, Pentecost, P-E-N-T-E-C-O-S-T, -E -E Pentecost. All right, got it? Can you remember all that? Because when you come back, bring a quarter, because I'm going to ask you about the quarter. All right, we're going to close now and we're going to sing one song, okay? If I were a butterfly. And we won't do the quiet version of it because we know you know that. Let's do the singing part, okay? Hands up. Here we go. I'm tricking you. It's not that one. It's this one. Ready? Did you keep your hands together like you do if I mess up? All right, here we go. Ready? 
If I were a butterfly, I'd thank you, Lord, for giving me wings. If I were a robin in a tree, I'd thank you, Lord, that I could sing. If I were a fish in the sea, i wiggle my tail and i giggle with glee. What? But i just give you, Father, for making me me. Ha, ha. Oh, you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile. You gave us Jesus and you made me your child. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. Ha, ha. Oh, if I were a fuzzy wuzzy bear, I thank you, Lord, for my fuzzy wuzzy hair. Go, if I were a kangaroo, you know I'd hop right up to you. If I were a crocodile, I thank you, Lord, for my big smile. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me ready. Okay, fast. You gave me a heart, and you gave me a smile, and you gave us Jesus, and you made me your child. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. Ha ha. Oh. You gave me a heart, and you gave me a smile, and you gave us Jesus, and you made me your child. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. Ha ha. Oh. Good job, you guys. Um. Just a reminder to wear your masks. I have my mask here. I wore it in. And to pay attention to people around you and not be too close still for now. And to pay attention to what your parents have to say. Because maybe you guys are getting tired of being home. I don't know. Maybe you're happy to be home and not in school. But I bet you your parents are getting a little tired. All right. So do the best you can to help out. Today's a day for helping your moms at the house or helping your dad do something with the car. All right? So have a good weekend, and I'm going to see you next week too. All right. Bye. Thank you.